Um, I just want to share my experience from yesterday and today. Um, um, yesterday, all of a sudden, uh, I just was in Kailash. Um, initially, I was just roaming um, in the Manasarovar, Kailash place. And then I saw I'm in the group going with you. Uh, I want you to bless me and my Tata, family to be I'll there. I'll make it happen. Thank you, Swamiji. Already you saw means you are there. Yes. I saw with my, the, those sticks and then we're going along the path and I saw the <laughs> twilight and the, it was so vivid, the Kailash. Uh, it has never ever come in a, any time. So, um, so I wanted and I saw... One thing I tell you. If you have eyes, don't miss Kailash when you are in the body. That is something you should not miss if you have eyes. How many have human eyes and at not yet seen Kailash? Raise your hand. No, waste of life. No, don't waste it anymore. As early as, you see, don't even wait for me to take you guys. I, I'll try because my health is now ready. I'll try to plan next year. Even if you are, if I am not planning, go with some group. Kaila should not be missed. Don't miss it. <laughs> that is, see, it is not a scene you can, your two eyes can hold. Hey. Wow. I was explaining when he asked me a question about sannyas that after seeing you how can I share this body with some female or male that experience how intimate and strong can be that can provoke that feeling into that devotee I can say that when I saw Kailash that intimacy and experience was provoked in me. I felt, how can I see something else after seeing you using these two eyes? <laughs> what else is there to see after seeing Kailash? To see using these two eyes. Of course, because I have to do this mission and many people have to see Kailash, I'm keeping the eyes functioning and happening. I can say that was the, that is the words I can use to explain. The intimacy and the completion I experienced after seeing Kailash with these two eyes. Of course, third eye, that is different. I am saying even with these two physical eyes. It's too much. Go ahead. Um, today's experience was, uh, I only saw uh, Tanjaur Mariamman in my uh, life. In temple. You guys will not see me falling flat anywhere other than Thirunamalai temple. That's the only place you will see me. None, you can't see me falling flat in Bidhi temple. You will not have a single photograph of me falling flat in Bidhi temple or anywhere. Anywhere. Vishwanatha, Kashi. Only Thiruvannamalai, falling flat. Second time I fell flat without even my knowledge means that is Kailash, that's all. Nowhere else. Nowhere else. Because it is politically not inside India, that's the only reason why I am not, I have not decided to live there. Otherwise, all reasons I already ticked. I am going to stay here. When I went to Kailash first time, actually I decided, come on, let's build a monastery here and let me reside here. Let people come and have my darshan here and go. What is there? I have nothing to gain from them. If they want to gain something from me, let them come here. The only reason, politically it is outside India and they won't give visa. <laughs> That's the only reason 
I am back. Kailash, you should not miss. Hmm? So, next year, even if I am not planning, I will try. I will try my best to plan because my health is really so well. And last time for Shivoham process itself, so much you will have to manage the health. This time, so beautiful. Everything is so beautiful. And this is thousand times more than Shivoham process. This whole frequency and vibration. Other than the small sneezing, nothing. Nothing. And health is so well settled. And we will try. Even if I am not planning, even if we are not going, catch some group, safe group, who takes you safely and brings you back. Now, go through the Indian route. Indian government has done an amazing job in all, just in three days, 72 hours, you can go have darshan and come back. All in 72 hours. You can be back, back to planes in 72 hours. Don't miss. I am not even asking you to spend time there or do uh, parikrama. Nowadays, parikrama can be done by vehicle. This year only, the uh, full road is formed. You can just go around by vehicle itself. Only a small bit they are saying the roads are not yet ready. And, but you can go to this end and this end. So you can enjoy the Kailash from all the 360 degree view. Whole thing can be done within 72 hours. And even if you are not coming with our team, it means you, if our team is not going, don't miss Kailash. Go with some team and have darshan and come back. These two, three things. The moment I wake up, open my eyes, Arunachala first. And the moment I start my day, Google map, Kailash Parikrama. <laughs> These two is like, uh, like my morning tea. How you guys have that morning tea, coffee habit? These two. Arunachala to open the eyes, Kailash to open myself. <laughs> So don't miss Kailash. It, it, it just, I can say that it's a, it's a statement given by Mahadeva about himself. See, it's like how the rich people, they make a statement about themselves by showing the billion dollar house, the, the way they live, the way their house is. Based on the religion, they give a statement about themselves in Bollywood and that whole that area. No, San Bernardino, Beverly Hills, Beverly Hills. Okay, hmm? how they show, make a statement about themselves by having these big big houses. Same way, Kailash's statement by Mahadeva, saying, "If I am living here, then understand who I am." <laughs> it's a statement by Mahadeva. You should not miss it. You should not miss it. Hmm? I very seriously instructed that. Let the last time when we went, I said that let the travel become smooth and let this land become politically part of India so that we can have ashram and live happily. <laughs> First step is already done. Second step, I don't know when it will happen. It may happen. But anyhow, you don't have to wait till then. Don't miss Kailash. Mm, go ahead. He has this great desire to be in Kailash. Um, he has been uh, Haridwar, Kedarnath, everywhere, and he has this big board in his office, Manasarovar Kailash, and he has 
requested me many times, please take me. Um, I never considered it at all. I, I can say that uh, now, because of this Indian government route, you can consider very easily, uh, you can go comfortably, go and comfortably come back, especially elders. So bless him also, Tata. Swamiji. And I have a, one other experience and a question. Uh, the experience of today was, uh, you know, uh, maybe this the Sri Chakra, it was uh, Tanjavur Mariamman and Pratyankara. Uh, and in the Pratyankara temple, there is this roof with uh, complete Rudraksh. So that was so powerful and... Uh, and the Pratyankara Devi is uh, normally they say not to sit in front of her, but I was sitting in front of her. Would that no, be no, a. Uh, it is like a. The intensity will be more, that is why they have said. Okay, Swamiji. And one question is. Um, you are sitting directly in front of Pratyankara only, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Swamiji. Mm. Um, I want to be able to heal people. Uh, I don't you know if I'm... You will have your initiation. Thank you, Swamiji. Um, and uh, another question is about the Atma Linga. Um, it felt very cold yesterday. Today I'm holding it, I find it very hot. Uh, I don't know if I'm... So a yesterday, you would have experienced the Spatika, which is cold. Today you are experiencing Atma Linga, which has already become alive. Yesterday only we did Prana Pratishtana. It is made out of Spatika. See, Spatika you should understand. Ice which did not melt for thousands of years gets the quality of the carbon and becomes solid. That stone only is Spatika. It is made out of pure 24 karat Spatika. The Linga you are having is made out of pure 24 karat Spatika. There are Spatikas 18 carat, 14 carat and all. This is pure 24 carat spatika. I will highly recommend you always carry with you in your handbag or you can put it in a chain and hang it with you. It's all as close as possible. Let it be in your breathing space. Mine is inside. In this it's there. Miss mm. Swamiji, um, take his side. Go ahead. Um, the, it's about the florid uh, issue. Um, not if we um, change the drinking water system, mm -hmm. it only costs like two hundred fifty dollars in Australia. But for the shower and everything else, it's uh, much harder to change. So I wonder if you can bless. Um, it is simple. Tell your city, don't add fluoride in, the in our water. That's all. Yes. You are from which country? Uh, Sydney, Australia. Sydney. Sydney. Surely you can tell your city. Uh, can all you of you go and talk to your city mayor. Sign a petition. Can you, you guys can become activists to protect yourself. You are not doing something wrong. Uh, yes, please uh, bless us to make that successful. That asked. Thank you. Then you are asking the right thing. Go ahead. Uh, next question is about um, if I uh, request um, some help or blessing or some clarity from you, um, if I do it in my inner space or if I uh, written it and give to you or I speak to you directly, is there any difference? See, when I am here, convey it in the, during any session. When you are away, hold that Atma Linga or Mala, talk, I will listen to you and give you the answer. All right, next question. Um, about uh, vegetarian food, um, on the flight when we come, um, I think many of the flight, they don't really offer the kind of vegetarian food we, we need. Um, some of them has got mushroom, and like egg or something. What do you want me to do? Um, I like to organize the petition. To you start doing it, that's all. And I need your blessings. My blessings. Thank you. Um, you guys should become an active. You guys should become active in all this. 
enough quite a long time you guys kept me as a socially untouchable i will not be even though people keep mahadeva as socially untouchable is socially unreachable not untouchable next question is um i only experience energy flow um there's no visual image is this because i'm already in the unclenching space so i only experience energy like that's energy good flow? thank you let's say jj um i actually had a question with what happened um this morning i think so i was actually getting ready and wearing the sari and before i've told jj about those portals and everything like that so after yesterday's process i saw that um, today when i was dressing up i was looking for safety pins so when i was looking for those uh, safety pins jj what happened was i was looking everywhere and i think i just decided to do something else and suddenly i just took it but that i realized few seconds later i took it from mid air that bunch of those safety pins the same safety pins which i'd kept teleported that that, teleported. that thing was there jj will always talk about that space of now mm. that sad, i can't even catch the thing but it was already in that hand and i was pinning it in mm. now what is going on is good only is good good don't worry mm. and Thank like jj says everything is happening in jj's lap as what jj told in varnasi yes you are right and you will see you will physically be able to move things around mm. and the power will start expressing mm. you don't have to pick up the cup if you just ask it will come and sit mm. that power and all will start expressing mm. the teleport at this side why the pin you know that is a easy and light stuff to start in the beginning to move that is why even without the pin any small items if you start playing with it it will start happening 